Hey you guys, it's me, Miss Bobby. Apologize for it being so dark. <clears throat> it's really late, um, and I'm not feeling good. I went to uh, my pre-hearing today, and I didn't get dismissed. They didn't throw it out. I have to take some classes and pay to take these classes. And then if I complete the course, then I can pay to get my record expunged. Yeah. So, that's what happened with me in court. Um, overall, as far as finances, the classes are about $800. To expunge my record is about three. So considering how much my ticket was um I s they knocked off a thousand dollars so <sighs> I'm sitting here today after I went to court and you know things are starting to sink in and I feel bad because I really allowed myself to get to this place. It's my own fault. Caring about somebody so much to the point of destruction. My face is greasy. <laughs> but, and now I'm here. I, I don't feel like I deserve this. I don't. So now I have to um, work all night, struggle to pay my bills, take classes during the day, struggle to get these classes paid. And even after paying all of this money to take the classes, I still have something on my record and it takes time to get it off. And I feel so bad. And the only thing that's good about me being hurt, mad and angry and holding on to it is is it is gonna keep me moving forward and not going back because I actually thought and I'm not gonna lie I actually thought that if everything got dismissed <laughs> that um me and uh, Mr. David would have another chance but uh yesterday I was sitting here and I was thinking about everything that I forgave you know and everything that I've overlooked and everything I just kept enduring it's, it wouldn't be worth it. So with, with that being said, I thought that maybe I would just get spared this one time and I wouldn't have to deal with this. But I guess I will have to deal with it. <sighs> so, classes, money, and getting it exposed I'm just <sighs> my birthday's in a few days I tried to dye my hair I used a new product a new company rather it's all dye and it didn't take in fact what it did was it took the color that I had in my hair and it pulled it out too so my hair looks really really dull and dingy and I was just not in the mood to curl it I really wanted curls again this time I'm just not in the mood and it's like all of a sudden everything's just bringing me down I had to tell a gentleman today they had a really nice conversation that because of 
the things that he got going on in his life and the things that I've been through already that he wouldn't be he wouldn't be somebody I would consider getting into a relationship with. And I felt so bad because normally I don't care what your situation your situation is. I don't care what your status is. Everybody deserves a chance. And he sounds like a great guy. But to date this particular person would put so much pressure on me. It would put so much responsibility back on me. And I don't want it. I don't. Um, my family used to joke, well, they still do, that I have the tendency of dating people that that are needy, that need help, you know, and I'm, I'm like a caregiver. I date people that I know that I can take care of. And I looked and I evaluated that and I evaluated myself and I realized I do. And in all honesty, all I want is for somebody to come and take care of me. That's it. It's so hard being tired, <laughs> being sick, being depressed, all by yourself. Nobody is here. And I mean, I have my good days and I enjoy them when I have them. But right now, it's not one of them. I feel... I feel defeated. And that's that's not how I want to be. This is not me. It's too much going on. It's too much that's not getting taken care of and I'm still struggling. So, I don't know. I'm just, um, I'm in my emotions right now. I'm hurting. I'm frustrated. Disappointed in myself. And afraid. Afraid of everything. Of staying still, moving forward, looking back. What do I do? What do I, where do I go from here? It's crazy. And all I do is try, try and keep trying. I guess that's all I can do. <sighs> This is my day. I'm sorry, but y'all know I keep it real. And right now, it's real ugly. (sighs) It's not hard for me to say this, though. Today is an ugly day for me. But I hope that all of you are having a good and blessed day. I really do. I'll check in later.